Hi there. I make figures of characters like this from computer games and cinematic universes. Today, we are going to make Sonic the Hedgehog out of modeling clay. Take a thick wire and start making the base of the frame for your Sonic figure. Before beginning to work, print out pictures of your character from several angles and refer back to these printouts. I'll be using an image on my tablet. Make a loop at the end of the wire. This will be our supporting base. Then we'll form Sonic's legs and make the frame of our character's body. Bend the other end of the wire in the same way. Cut off the remaining wire with pliers. I am using a circle of cardboard as a stand. Next, I'll use a thin wire to strengthen the frame. Wrap it around the main wire. This wire will also allow the clay not to fall off while I'm sculpting. Now, let's make Sonic's arms. I connect them to the frame of the body with a thin wire. Be careful when working with the wire. You can bend the sharp edges. It's good to warm up the clay beforehand. To do this, I cut it into thin pieces, or put it in a bag and place it in hot water. Our figure is small, so a layer of clay of 5 millimeters is enough. Sonic has thin legs, so you only need a little bit of clay here. It helps to break the character down into simple shapes. You get a small sphere, his stomach, and a large sphere, his head. The head occupies half of our character's height. Try to copy this proportion. At this stage, we do not need to be very accurate. We will smooth out the figure later. Now, we'll sculpt his shoes. They resemble a triangle and are very large. Here, it is important to make sure that his shoes are pointing in slightly different directions. This will help our figurine to be more stable. Using pliers, I'll bend his arms into the desired position to give our character more personality. I'm going to wrap his arms with thin wire again so that the clay does not slip.
Now, for that famous hair. Sonic's needles. They should resemble triangles. In order to sculpt them correctly, I use several pictures as a reference. I start sculpting with large pieces. Note that the needles on the side are pointing back. Those on top are pointing upwards. The lower needles are smaller and point downwards. Next, we'll add needles to his body. This adds volume to his form and shows that the needles are located close together. I'm adding some more volume to his back. Our sculpture is already recognizable, and we can start smoothing and working out the details. For this part, I'm using a thin shaping tool with flat edges. Now we'll draw his face. If you make a mistake, you can simply smudge it out with your finger, smooth it over, and draw again. Add the necessary volume to his face and snout. Pay special attention to his eyes. With their help, we can convey his mood. Where you can't smooth it out with your finger, use a shaping tool. Next, I'll apply and align Sonic's eyebrows. Here it's important to make a clear distinction between his eyes and eyebrows.
Now, you can add his ears. Two small triangles of the same size. Smooth them out with the shaping tool. In order to smooth the needles, we need a loop tool. Now we've corrected the shape of his shoes. And level out the base. Don't press too hard with the shaping tool when removing extra clay. It's better to do it a couple of times. Now watch how I make his hands and fingers. All that's left is to smooth out the entire figure. Here is how my Sonic turned out. Now, I want to paint him. The paint will lie more evenly if you clean the top layer. I will do this with a brush dipped in alcohol. You can paint a sculpture made of modeling clay with acrylic paints. Sonic's main color is blue. I will use blue paint for the needles, ears, body, and legs.
Then I'll get some yellow paint. His shoes are red. Your beautiful, colorful Sonic made of clay is finished. Don't forget to subscribe to Pingo's channel and tell us how your Sonic sculpture turned out in the comments below. See you in our next video.